In this video, we're going to discuss how to prepare a zirconia restoration for cementing. Now, zirconia is a non-silica-based ceramic, so it doesn't really get good results with traditional um, preparation with hydrofluoric acid. So we really want to do a micro-mechanical retention. And with that, we're going to use an air abrasion unit. So you're going to air abrade the inside or the entirety of the restoration. And I want you to remember that you will not see a change in the surface like you do with Emacs where it gets frosty. This is basically going to, going to stay the same. And then we're going to use some soap and water to clean off the particles. And I also like to dip it into a little dappened dish of alcohol just to get everything nice and clean. All right, so we're going to try it in, in the mouth. And then what happens is that after you do the try-in, we want to really prep the surface. And we're going to use something called Katana Cleaner. So the inside of the crown is contaminated by blood and saliva, which has phosphates in it. And it's going to interfere with the bonding of zirconia. So Katana Cleaner is special because it's got an MDP salt with a pH of 4.5. And what does that mean? It means that we can not only use it extra orally, but we can actually use it intra orally. And I believe it's, only the, it's the only product on the market at this moment that can do that. We're going to take our Katana Cleaner and place a drop. And we want to take this and apply it to the inside of our crown for about 10 seconds, rubbing it in. And we're also gonna do the same thing with the prepped tooth. And this is gonna clean off all the saliva and blood. After about 10 seconds, we are going to rinse and dry it, a little bit of water. And then we are going to dry it out. All right, we're gonna do that to the tooth also. And once we have that done, we can get ready to cement. Now we wanna bond this crown. We have the ability because we have something called Panavia SA Cement Universal. It comes in three shades, universal, A2, translucent, and also a white. This is a really neat cement because it has both an MDP monomer in it, and it actually has a silane built into it. So it's a two-part paste. And every time it mixes, it mixes fresh, which is really nice. So we are going to express a little bit out the tip. And then we are going to place the cement into the crown. And I like to take my tip and just spread it around. We just want a very thin layer. And make sure we've covered all the surfaces. And just a tiny bit more right there. Okay, we are going to then see our crown. Finger pressure pressed down gently and you see a little bit exudes out. So at this point, you have two choices. You can actually tack cure it with a curing light. Or we can let it self cure for about two to four minutes. During this time where it reaches the gel state, you can then take an instrument and gently remove the excess. At this point, I will also take some floss and go through the contacts just in case I have some left over in the contact area. We don't want that to cure hard and not be able to get that out. And then we're going to light cure our margins really quick. And that's going to be for the 20 seconds per side. And then after that, we're going to let it sit and self-cure for about five minutes, making sure that we keep moisture away from it. And that's how you cement a zirconia crown or bond a zirconia crown.